we're going to do some breathing. Can you guys breathe in through your nose like this? And out through your mouth like this? My name is Paul Bromley and I'm an occupational therapist with Edmonton Catholic Schools. And now we make our legs go straight like this. Well, the strategy that I was using predominantly is to promote efficiency of movement throughout the day, be it their gross motor skills or their fine motor skills. And so in this instance, I'm particularly focusing on their gross motor skills and their ability to explore movement. And we push our elbows against our knees like this, right? When I work with efficiency of movement, I'm, I'm primarily looking at whether or not this child is capable of moving their body in an efficient way and also whether or not they're inhibited. I start by limbering their bodies and bringing them in. So it always starts, all of my visits start with yoga. We, we do some form of yoga and I generally incorporate animals into the yoga. Kids, kids just like animals and so making animal sounds while we're counting or incorporating what we can into that uh, really ties in nicely to the didgeridoo piece. The tool that I was using primarily uh, was the didgeridoo. I play it initially as a means to elicit some emotional response from the children. I don't give them much, I just allow them to experience it and after I play for a little while, I let them tell me how it made them feel. And so we do a little bit of emotional exploration. Then I move to more of the traditional use of the didgeridoo where animal sounds are made into the didgeridoo and I play it again for them and allow them to guess what animals are in the didgeridoo. It has a, a visceral response when, when it's heard. I allow them to feel the vibration. I typically take it from there and turn it into movement. Can you guys all do a dog walk? And I'll play some dog music. With a group like those kids at Mount Carmel, I can really go a lot of directions because they they give me so much feedback in regards to uh, you know the sounds I'm making or rhythms. Rhythm can be a very unifying concept, and, and once again, an instrument isn't necessary uh, to use the body as a percussive instrument. To use clapping, stomping of feet, snapping of fingers, tapping, clicking. You know, kids make all kinds of noises. And often in, in the kindergarten environment, you know, patterns is something that they're working on in some way. And so uh, I find that to be a really seamless way to integrate movement and part of their learning uh, in, into the same thing. 